What up, everybody? It's Friday. Don't forget about those 22 veterans a day that commit suicide. Support one another. Support them. Support yourselves. If you need help, reach out. Check out Redneck Renegade. He's got some great information on some, some groups that can help out. I'll leave a link down below to his channel. You got anything, reach out. Reach out to me. Ears always open. But... While we're here on Friday, it's time to do a fire. So, if you know uh, a channel called Waypoint Survival, uh, his name is James, and he does some uh, some really good uh, some really good content, especially on the uh, fire side of it. Well, he was making uh, his own solid fuel fire starters, similar to like an Esbit uh, or uh, that that type of uh, stuff. One of the key ingredients in it, Culligan's, or however you say it, fire paste. So I thought, well, since I'm going to be trying to make my own uh, via his uh, guidance, his recipe, however, whatever you want to call it, I figured I'd play around with this fire paste. Bring you guys along with me. So let me get the camera turned down and we'll uh, get it going. All right, now, the bad thing with this is it was hard to, uh, hard to find. Uh, I was lucky enough to find this at uh, Sportsman's Warehouse locally, otherwise I would have had to order it uh, and God only knows how long everything will take. Uh, it is 3.75 ounces and it cost me eight bucks there at Sportsman's Warehouse. Now it just says that remove cap, squeeze fire paste onto several pieces of wood or other flammable material, ignite the paste. Place additional fuel around flame. Paste burns with intense heat. Will ignite damp wood. So that's going to be something I'll have to try, uh, try out later. Uh, to prime gas stove spread. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to try that. All right, anyways. So we'll throw it, uh, throw it on here. And literally, it's just a paste. Looks very similar to uh, uh, petroleum jelly. It does not have ingredients. I'm sure it's a, a proprietary blend of blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Now, I've tested this uh, previous and I know it'll start with fair run. So here we go, watch uh, how intense the flame actually is. Now that's a pretty good flame for the amount that I put in there. And we'll, uh, we'll time how long this bit lasts. All right, everybody. So that little bit of, uh, that little bit of the fire paste lasted just under, uh, two minutes. Not a uh, bad burn time. Ooh, that's a little warm. Uh, definitely could have gotten uh, your tinder going. Let me get the camera turned up. All right, everybody. This is a really good idea to have. Because of the fact that it's a paste, you can just store it in your bag and kind of forget about it. Uh, let's see if it's got any temperature, doohickeys. Now it doesn't say anything about max temps and all that kind of stuff. Obviously you don't want to leave it in direct sunlight and blah, blah, blah. But it's it's a nice thing to just kind of put in your bag as a surefire, because we all love surefire. Now this definitely wouldn't be something that I would use to cook over or whatever like that, but it's definitely something that uh, I'll keep in my, uh, keep in my toolbox of uh, fire starting stuff. And uh, yeah. Got any questions, let me know. Let me know if you guys have uh, ever tried it out or anything like that. And if so, what your experiences were on it. Appreciate everybody's uh, help with my uh, my views. Uh, Michael58, God brother, thank you very much. He's still watching my, uh, my playlist. Uh, everybody else who's uh, watched playlist and things like that, it's really helped out a lot. Uh, things have gotten better. Uh, you know what I mean? And uh, got a little help from upstairs. I appreciate that from him. 
And uh, yeah, I will uh, talk to you guys here later.